I'm Scott Stein and hey, graduation's almost here and the summer is arriving and you're going to be looking for some small laptop to carry around, right? Well, that's what a lot of computer manufacturers are hoping for. That's what Ultrabooks are designed for. And one of the Ultrabooks that we did not get a look at until recently is the Samsung Series 5 Ultra. This is a more affordable version of the Samsung Series 9, that really fancy MacBook Air type of competitor that was really expensive that came out last year. This one is $999 for 128 gigabyte SSD, although you can go even cheaper. So you can get a pretty good bargain on this laptop, and that's a far cry from the $1,000 plus territory that we tended to see these Ultrabooks in before. What's not so great is that you can tell that there were a couple of design corners uh, that were chopped off to try to make this thing more affordable. It certainly looks attractive, but it's a little more plasticky. It's certainly not the sleek blade design that's all metal that you see in a MacBook Air. Now, word to the wise, if you're buying an Intel laptop at this point, there are new processors that are literally right around the corner, and in some laptops, they may already be here. That's called Ivy Bridge, and that's a slightly faster processor that's going to actually have a lot better graphics performance for playing games, especially on a little Ultrabook like this one. If you're going to be thinking about getting this laptop, I would highly recommend you wait maybe about a month and just see what comes out, maybe at the same price, that gives you a little more bang for the buck. The 14-inch version is a totally different laptop. It is an Ultrabook as well, but it really fits more into that looks like a regular, thicker laptop territory. It's got a DVD drive, and if you were to see it on the street, you'd probably just think, oh, regular laptop. The 13-inch version is shrunken down, doesn't have a DVD drive, but it's a lot thinner. It really feels much more like the Ultrabook MacBook Air type laptop that you're probably thinking of. Now, Ultrabook's a marketing term. What it really means is that you're looking at a thin laptop here, 13 inches, and no optical drive. You're getting a low-voltage processor that's still really zippy, an Intel Core i5 in this case, 4 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigabyte SSD. And again, that big shift that's happening this year is you're going to see a lot more of these get packed with regular hard drives to shave a few dollars off the price and be able to make these things a little more competitive with what Apple's fronting. That's a great idea, and I would probably end up buying one of those in the 500 gigabyte territory and not go for the SSD, but that's a matter of opinion. The other great thing about this laptop is, hey, it packs in all the ports. Why can't every Ultrabook do this? You've got your USB, you've got USB 3.0, SD card slot, HDMI, an Ethernet port on the side, they're all here, it's effortless, every laptop should have that. It's a no-brainer. As far as this one goes, it's a very good laptop with a disappointing battery life and a feel that is a little more plasticky than I'd like. Still, you might want to check one out and see if you can get one at a good price. I'm Scott Stein and that's a look at the Samsung Series 5 Ultra.